Hello. Uh, this is Marcy from Dragonfly Avenue. Um, today I'm going to show you how to add a custom cursor like this Dragonfly um, into your Divi WordPress website with a little bit of code. Um, so I have, since I already have this on mine, um, I'm going to actually use my other site to add a cursor. So our regular cursor should like this like pointer right here. Um, and we are going to change that. So we're going to oh, go to the back end dashboard. And go down here to theme options. Um, and here under custom CSS, we're going to do, um, we're going to add this code. So just copy and paste this code. Um, it will be on my, uh, blog post. If you're on the blog post, scroll down a little. Um, okay. And then you can save. Um, then you're going to go to, where am I going? Um, oh, media and add new. And you are going to, I'm going to add these two. So um, these are going to be the cursors. Um, when you are designing the cursor, make sure it's around 30 by 30 pixels. Um, it can be slightly bigger, but I you know, keep it small. Um, okay, go to edit. And you want to copy this file URL. So just copy to clipboard. And then let's go back down to Divi theme options. Again, scroll all the way down. And right between these parentheses, you're going to paste that in. And then just hit save. So this is just for the main cursor. Um, and then let me see if I can open this up. And now you can see like this M as a cursor, which is kind of cute. Um, okay. Now, as you can see, uh, the cursor kind of changes when you're going to hover to, again, the same one that there was before. Um, if you want to change the um, cursor for a hover effect. We're going to go back here. I'm going to grab this purple one because I want to see it actually like change. Again, we'll copy. Oh, wait. Yes, <laughs> in a second. Um, we're going to go to theme options one more time. Scroll down. Um, we're going to grab this code where it says hover, paste that in, and then let me just go back here again, copy URL. Um, again, this is like the image that you want chosen to copy that link and then paste it. Again, hit save. And then let's see how this looks. So now you have this M and when you hover, it changes colors. So it's kind of cool. Um, again, you can do kind of whatever you want with it. Like you'll see um, like the hover effects and everything. My site is like fairly um, simple, um, but it's cute and it works. So now you have like the custom cursor add the code. I will say one thing to note is, um, and that I would be a bit cautious of when you're doing the hover is sometimes depending on the actual cursor or whatever you're putting it, w it can at times make it difficult to, um, like click the link. And so just make sure that you're testing, especially the hover feature, um, that it still allows you to easily 
click all the links without having any issues, um, primarily for like user experience and, and things like that. So just double check that. Um, but if you're all good, then like obviously go for it. Um, on my Dragonfly Avenue one, like I don't have any like major, like all my links change back to the normal. So you should have that. So just keep that in mind, but that is how you have a cursor. You can have, you can again, um, upload any image. So it could be like your brand logo, your letter, your color, like a circle, like whatever it is that you want. Um, just go for it and have fun. Um, again, blog, uh, the blog post contains all the code that you can just copy and paste. And then um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave that below. And don't forget to check out dragonflyavenue.com and also follow along um, for more tips and tutorials and resources. Awesome. Thanks. Bye.